That's right, folks. We're back from our Siberia. Your Gibbs is here. Look at all these cool horses. Where are we? We are in the bar here. And uh, we learned about the monastery in the last episode. So we have to go there because we have to try and figure out how to get Hans into it, frankly. Let's go back outside. I think we did actually see it when we were roaming the streets here earlier. We did put the coal in our train. Unfortunately, Hans is not ready to go, is he? Hello, little girl. Tell me, how is it going? Uh, talk to me about the monastery, please. He told me why they couldn't treat her at the monastery. Yes, Kate. Sometimes, people get too sick and there's nothing that can be done. Is your friend too sick? I hope he isn't. I'm going to help you, Kate. Oh, how is she going to help me? Can you help me, Malka? Hmm. Only if your friend is a little bit sick. Not too much or you'll be sad. We'll see. Let's give it a try, you know? Like for your mother, with the monks. On the road to the monastery, there's a kind of box with sheets. The monks call them shrouds. I'm going to give you a token so you can get one. It's very important, Kate Walker. Then what do I do with this shroud? Take it and lay it over your friend's face. <sighs> okay, I'll give it a try. Oh yeah, that's right, she's like the gatekeeper, I remember Thank now. Thank you for your help. Come back and see me. I like you, Kate. I like you too, you're adorable. Let's go back this way then. Uh... Yeah, I think it was this way. Oh, my train! It's ready to go! Uh, I don't think that I will be very well received. Mm-hmm. Well, how about we go right past them? Come on. It's so windy, I love that sound effect. It's awesome. I don't know if we have to go back in here, though. Probably should just avoid it. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess we're going to go up this way. Hello? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this is going to be... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. I'm going to put that token in there and get a shroud. Please. See how sick our dear Hans is. So we have a shroud. We have to go and put that back onto our buddy, Hans. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe we can go in here. It's been barricaded. These folks don't like people just dropping in uninvited. Okay. I think we are going to need a winter coat, though. So let's go and take care of... Maybe we'll go back to the store, and we will... Go put the shroud on Hans. Burr, even these little fr flakes here of snow make me... Shiver. Bye bye. Up the stairs. We'll stop in at the store here. Okay. No, can't talk to him. Go on the train in just a moment. Hello. Hi there. Colonel, please, can you help me? What can I do for you, Miss Walker? Monastery? From what I've heard, Colonel, the Patriarch of the Monastery is some kind of healer. I'm just an old Cossack. And to me, there's only one real remedy for everything. A good shot of vodka. And that'd finish off poor hands for sure. Mm-hmm. 
I was told the patriarch of the monastery can diagnose illness if he's shown a cotton sheet marked with the feverish face of the patient. What do you think about that, Colonel? Here in Mother Russia, Katyuchka, there are stranger tales to be told. Okay. Would you have something to treat a fever? My friend is sick. I'm sorry. I sold my last peels last week. Use last peels? I want to go up to the monastery, but it's so cold outside. Would you have some warm clothes to loan me? Maybe so. I might find what you want up in the attic. I'll get the ladder out. I'll pay you for what I use, of course. Don't you worry, Kachuchka. You're a true ray of sunshine in this dusty old shop. And we don't mm. see sunshine here every day. <gasps> Kate Sunshine. She needs to change her name from Kate You'll Walker. Find something that'll fit you in the attic, I'm sure. Yeah, we're gonna change your name from Kate Walker to Kate Sunshine. I can't climb up there anymore. Okay. It's a rickety old ladder. Kate will do it. Why not? Where is it? Now, where to find some place appropriate to slip into this? Oh, come on. Why be so modest, Kate? Walker. Nobody can see you up there. But, yeah. Okay, fine. We'll go back to the bathroom on the train and take care of that change of clothing, I suppose. And we'll, while we're in here, we'll deal with Hans. Yeah, I gotta go in the train this way. Yeah, there we are. I think the bathroom's right here. <sighs> At last, a bit of privacy for one. <laughs> I love Toasty. it. And not unelegant either. <laughs> what? I like Kate's old outfit. No. She's all wintry now. Going to Canada with that winter outfit there. Hans, How's it going? Dear Hans. Father, Hans doesn't want to stay in the attic anymore. What happened? It's not his fault. Okay. Put the shroud on him. Get all your sweat, your fever sweat, all over that shroud, please. And we're off. We're ready to go for a uh, winter adventure up to the monastery. I don't see Oscar here at all, but I'm sure he's around somewhere. Come on, Kate. Run, please. Let's go. I th assume it's back this way towards where the shrouds were. No, 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 this way. Keep going, Kate. Oh, a bird. Kate Sunshine. He was hitting on us. Ah, maybe he's just happy to have a different face. Store. Okay, let's see. I assume that's the monastery, so we're gonna go ahead and go this way. Oh yeah, we even got some snow goggles on. Oh, it's a bunny rabbit or hare. I don't know what the difference is. Tell me what the difference is between a bunny and a hare. That is very high up there. We need the elevator, please.
Why? They don't want us to visit anymore? Or at all, ever? Be another way around here. Uh. Oh, who's this guy? Hello there. Excuse me. I'm sorry to disturb you, uh, sir? Blessed art thou, my sister. What can I do for you? Let's talk, of, let's introduce ourselves. Let's be polite here. Um, my name is Kate Walker, and my train is currently at the station in Romansburg. Oh, oh, Romansburg. Pretty town, but not the kind of town for pretty strangers. Pretty solitary strangers. <laughs> oh my god. I don't intend to hang around long, brother. Oh boy. First we're sunshine, then we're pretty, then we're... Yeah, in trouble. I'm traveling with an old man. Hans Vorlberg, and... <laughs> Vorlberg? Did you say Vorlberg, my sister? You know him? No, <laughs> but I know someone else. Okay. That's kind of random. Go on, spit it out. <sighs> ah, can you hear? It is the sweet song of the Merula Alba. If only I could catch a glimpse. Such a rare, pretty bird. Few are they who say in truth they have spied her beauty. <laughs> it is probably seeking some other Merula Alba. Ah, remember that bird we saw at the train? Interesting. What is a Marula Alba? A rare bird. <laughs> it can never be seen as it is as white as snow. Oh, okay, maybe not They then. say that when a man sees it, his mind clears and his intelligence grows and grows. <laughs> I don't know if that's work for you though, buddy. There seem to be a lot of birds around here. Yes, yes, but the only one that interests me is the Merula Alba. My friend is very ill, you know. It is God's will. God's will. <laughs> what can I do, my sister? What can I do? Maybe you could visit him at his bedside. Oh, oh, oh. Never, my sister, never. I would incur the wrath of our Lord and Patriarch. <laughs> Okay. I'm looking for someone with a medical background. Someone who can tend to the sick. Our patriarch is a remarkable doctor, my sister. He cures bodies as well as souls. <laughs> what do I get the sense this guy is just a little crazy? You couldn't help me, could you please? I am but a simple monk. You have to go see our patriarch yonder in the monastery. You say that I could find someone to help me, up there, at the monastery. Yes! At the monastery, oh yes! <laughs> okay. I rang at the monastery, but there was no reply. Maybe they don't want to let me in. Can you tell me, is there another way in? There is no other way, my sister. <laughs> Why won't they let me into the monastery? Dura Lex, said Lex. <laughs> I'm sorry? The law is hard, but it is the law, my sister. <laughs> what law? I don't like questions, my sister. The law is the law is the law. What does that even mean? Law is the law. You live in the monastery, I suppose. That is right, my sister. <laughs> Are there many of you up there? A few old monks. <laughs> few are those who heed the calling in this age. Tell me, what have we got to do to get into the monastery? You must pull the rope that rings the bell, my sister, but not too hard, or you will scare the birds. Don't scare them. A monk will show you in. Thank you. Hmm. Um... I rang the bell, but the monk at the door doesn't seem to want to show me in. There are rules. Rules and traditions to respect here. Respect! <laughs> yeah. 
What rules? What traditions? That some people are less worthy than others. Okay. So how does that monk up there make an opinion about my worthiness by just looking at me? It, it is... it is not a question to ask, my sister. Okay. <laughs> You're telling me that I'm not worthy to enter your monastery? I didn't say. No. I just... I just wash dirty laundry, that's all. <laughs> Yes, you did say that. You implied I wasn't worthy. Femina inconcessus. <laughs> I don't understand Latin. Latin, like the birds. Erythacus rubecula, picus viridis, merula alba. Okay, so he is clearly, clearly gone. You speak Latin, then? Oh, monk's Latin. Pigeon Latin. Hmm. You seem to know the Latin names of birds. <laughs> Pretty birds. Pretty birds. <laughs> what? Picus viridis? Woodpecker. Again, do it again. How about Erythacus rubicula? Uh, robin red breast. Again, more Latin. Merula alba? White. Raven, my sister. Mm. Femina in consensus? Women. Forbidden. <laughs> uh, no. Right. I get it. Because I'm a woman, I'm forbidden access to the monastery. And now I understand. That's <gasps> the rule, sister. I can't change the rules. Of course, brother. Women are the source of all sin. Isn't that so? Ooh, burn, monk. You got burned. I must absolutely find a doctor for my friend. I just do the laundry, my sister. That is all. Down here, there are some doctors. And others do the laundry. You are going to make me late. It's the bird again. Is that the Mockingjay? Do you hear? <sighs> It is the Merula Alba again. Okay, so we're clearly going to have to uh, dress up like a man. Or maybe I shouldn't say clearly. Maybe that's how we Why get around this. Why would you us. help me? I must finish my chores before even song, my sister. I'm going now. I'll be back soon. As a what? man. Yeah, we're coming back. Nice try, though, mister. I think you can scare away Kate. Huh. Ha ha ha. I don't think so. No, 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 no. We need to get out of here. Uh, was it this way then, I guess? This way, maybe? Gotta go back to town. Maybe our friend that offered up the uh, clothing can make us look like a man? I don't know. We'll see. We will definitely find out. Take the goggles off, Kate. I love the high pants here, or leggings, or whatever you call those things. Why did the uh, shopkeeper have lady winter clothes, anyways? Oh. Oh, see, there's a bird right there. No, I don't want to go to this 